Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Watch Dogs. Let's continue from where we left off here. And if you guys are enjoying this series, do drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. Okay, probably sh yep. Go. Mr. Pierce? Jax has wandered off. I'm very worried. I was going to call the police, but I wanted to call you first. No, no, that, that's good. He does this sometimes. He's stressed. He likes to ride the trains. Don't worry. I know how to find him. Please call me once you know anything. We really should involve the police if you can't find him. It's going to be fine. Really. I was worried Jax would do this. He's not a kid that sits still. He's got a lot of his uncle in him. Been searching for his mother. Where would he go? There he is. Uh. Help, I tried to find mom. There's, a, there's men with guns here. I'm scared. Hello, Jax, I'm coming. Uh, hi, Jax, I'm coming. I'm coming um, for you. Aiden, I, I'll tell you, Aiden has some serious skills that he can drive so quick and text at the same time. That's dangerous. But, um, okay, let's get over there right now. This is actually one of my favorite missions in the game, too. Okay, here we are. What the hell is Jackson doing in here? We're seen, yeah. Racing van. Damn it, he thinks his mother's here. This place is mob owned. After the auction mess, these guys will be on high security. So this Racine um shipping place, remember, or this boatyard place, it's a front for the Chicago South Club. Mafias will use fronts in real life um to hide their money. construction worker. And look, there's no way in hell a guy like this makes $20,000 a year. No way. He's not a construction worker. Um, basically what that is, that's a no-show job. You've seen that in Sopranos where, um, mafias, what they will do is they'll have, like, some big construction project, usually something that they own, and they will employ people at that place. And they'll, they'll have them on file that they work at that place. But in reality, they don't do anything. They just do whatever the boss tells them to do. Come 
Come on, go for it, do it. Oops. Love the soundtrack in this mission too. Reinforcements. able to jam columns fast enough. Armored guy is probably gonna be the biggest problem for me. Bastard needs to be dropped once and for all. Wash your mouth. Oh, I think I already got the armored guy, never mind. Oh. 
Damn, I just literally wiped everyone out. Self too. Someplace safe. Come on, Jax. Come on. So remember that at this point, Jackson didn't know um, the type of person that that Aiden uh, truly was. And then when he saw, he was watching that live feed as Aiden killed all those mobsters. Let's go. There's so much I wish I could explain to you. I'm sorry about all this, Jax. I know it's not easy. Look, Jax. When I have to deal with these bad guys. I need you someplace safe. That's what makes me strong. I'm like the healer. Yeah, you're just like that. Except that's just a game. I'm warning you, if I don't hear from his mother, soon I will call the police. Oh wow, went to a rainstorm really quickly there. Hill point acquired. Enforcer combat takedown. That's what I'm gonna need is to um, be able to take down the really heavily armored guys with melee hit. It's time. Shit, man. Uh, I appreciate what you did for me at the bricks, but Iraq couldn't believe it. But he did believe it, right? Yeah, yeah, he did. I mean, he's all proud and shit. Uh, I can't risk pissing him off again, man. You understand? There's a bar near Rossi Fremont. I'm leaving something in the trash. It's a wire. Go get it. Listen, uh, you spooked him at the auction. Now, nobody gets into the upper floors without his permission, including me. We'll be discreet. Come on, man. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I, I just love the trains in this game. It's a sh you know what I, I I really hated about Watch Dogs Legion is that you couldn't actually ride the subways in London, which that's you thought you would think that that would be one of the things they would have worked on like an underground subway system, but they didn't, and that's I think that's one of the things that the, the game had like flaws is that there was just so many things they could have like hacked like you know the blackouts and just the um all uh, the explosions the turbines there was just so much stuff that could have just that you could hack in like Watch Dogs one so like Legion just feels like a downgrade. I actually didn't have that much of a problem with the character, um, the character, um, 
the selection in Legion. I, I, I actually like the idea of being able to play as NPCs. I didn't have a problem with that. But I just didn't like the, um, uh, the limited hacking that you had in Legion. I just thought that that was, like, boring. Thankfully, you do get to play as Aiden, so I guess that makes up for it a little bit. Hopefully I don't get a copyright claim for this part here. Okay, let's get out of here really quick, because I don't want to stick around in this club and get a claim. Um, oh, great, it's doing it too now here. Oh, hopefully it doesn't it doesn't claim the video. If it does, that's going to be really stupid. Come through. Putting a lot of faith in this kid. I don't know if he's up for the job. He's the cleanest way in right now. Let's hope I don't kill him. Get into position and contact bed bug. And um, one thing I will say about this is the reviewers got really pissed off at um, Watchdogs over this scene with bed bug. I remember they were complaining about this scene, and they were basically saying that like, oh, Aiden is like you know a bad person because he puts people like Clara and bed bug in in danger, and he doesn't care. But the thing about that is Aiden has said several times to Clara, if it's too dangerous for you, you don't have to help me. And Clara's always like, oh no, I want to help you, I want to help you. So he's not really putting Clara in danger. And as for Bedbug, Bedbug put himself in that situation because Bedbug was basically the underboss of the Viceroy. So this was like, you know, a gang boss. So, you know, Bedbug isn't as cruel as like a rock. Um, but if you actually scan him, it says that he's linked to like murders. So we don't know if Bedbug actually killed somebody, it's possible he did, but Bedbug is not innocent by any means. So like when people say that like, oh, Aiden put like Bedbug in danger, he put like an innocent man in danger, like how is Bedbug innocent? Like literally he's, he's a top guy in, in a street gang. So literally, um, you know, I don't buy that when people say that, oh, you know, he put an innocent guy in danger. I gotta get inside that building and stay very close to Bedbug's signal. If we lose communication, that could panic the kid. We need to keep him calm. There's a lot of these guys. And also, it's best to clear these guys out because once the mission ends, you're gonna need to make a swift exit. How this guy doesn't even see this over here. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Where are you? Close enough. Go. My finger's still on the play button if I think you're stalling me. You. you made sure of that. What's on Iraq's floor? I don't know, man. Rooms? There's one room Iraq don't let nobody inside. You're going in today. No, no way. I can't. Listen, it's got some security door. You're covered. Just get your phone near it. You're going inside that room. I ain't no snitch. I don't talk to the cops. Good. I'm not a cop. Yeah, and um, what I'll say about this is uh, apparent. 
Just listen to what I say and move when I tell a you. Parano a paranoid and intelligent person like a rock is going to have um, audio on all of his cameras. Move. I'm going. Fuck, man. Fuck. Okay, now. Go, go. Go, quickly. Hi. Relax. How old are you? At 19, man. I I'm 19, man. Jesus. You're still a kid. Grandma says I was always big for my age. It ain't worth it, man. Basically gotta guide Bedbug through this. Move ahead. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. That don't make no sense. Now, go. Yeah. Move it. I don't want to do this. Okay, move. Okay. Some other time. It's time to decide, Joe. You get me that video and I'll make uh, you my main man. Someone has it locked tight. Find it. Um, I thought they were. Do you got family? Yeah. Kids? No. You? Probably. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Don't make me laugh. Yeah. That could be bad. I think this is the room, right? Here, go, go. Yeah, Stay yeah. low. I know what people are wondering in the comments, like, how the hell did you do that on your first time? It's like one of the hardest missions in the game. It's like a lot of patience and getting really good at stealth. Why are you doing this, man? This, this ain't your world. It's complicated. We got plenty of time. Iraq was involved in something that hurt my family. I want answers. That ain't so complicated. figure out how to do this one.
give me a minute. I wasn't expecting this. I told you, man. I told you. Ain't nobody but our rat. Quiet. And he's got some heavy security here. Okay, just give me one second here. Take care of this. It's... Sometimes you get lucky with these and you solve these early on, but other times it can get a little bit tricky. Betrayal to me? How the fuck you even get in no, here? No, hold on. No, I love you, man. You know that. Uh -huh. Who bought you, Quinn? No, 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 wait, man. Don't you lie to me? No, don't you fucking lie to my face? This how you repay me for taking you in? Come on, cause we family. You know it wasn't me. He made me do it. What the fuck? He's real close. No, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it. Get down there, find that bitch. This is why it was important to take out the guards here early on, too. He did everything right. In Iraq. Did he just murder his own cousin? Did I get him killed? 
I didn't get much data. I hope there's enough. Got something. It was only a partial download, but I definitely got something. It looks like his computer is full of blackmail on everybody. Just listen to these fuller names. Police Chief Sex Tape, Bloom CEO Bribe, CTOS Breaches. Iraq's sitting on the most dangerous weapon in the city. No wonder the cops stay away. He's probably had a chat with the police chief. Can you see what's inside the folders? Not yet. I'm trying. Is there a folder for the Merlot? Merlot. Yes, there is. Good. I'll be there soon. So yeah, that was um uh uh that that's one of the hardest missions in the game, by the way. That mission specifically that I just did. It's a mission that I've seen a lot of people actually rage on, that mission specifically. Um Hey. Hey, this thing still work? Bedbug, you're alive. You need to get out of there. I am out. I, I, I just thought maybe I could help you get your answers. You know, uh, about your family? Uh, that video we saw on the screen. Iraq asked me about it. Uh, asked me what I knew about uh, Rose Washington. Rose Washington? I, I don't know who she is, but that's the girl in the video. Iraq says she's dead. Okay, thanks. That might help. Yeah. And me? We done? We're done. Doors open. You did good, Bedbug. Yeah, so, um, Southbound train. Uh, basically, um, uh, oh, another call. He made a lot of noise at Rossi Fremont. Please give me good news. Iraq's got dirt on a lot of people. His computer's full of it. Everybody from politicians to CTOS execs. The Merlot is in there, too. I knew it. I told you it was there. It's encrypted. I don't have access to it, but that video we found at the Merlot? The woman's name is Rose Washington. Rose Washington? I know that name. Wasn't she with CTOS? Aiden, you had paid her. I followed your IP. Now give me my sister. But we're just starting. That video is important to someone. Important enough to attack me, to attack your niece. Careful, Damien. Come on, I know you want to follow this to the end as much as I do. That was an ordeal. Oh, but it was. You said it's encrypted. Then your job's not done. No, you're not gonna do this. I can do whatever I want. Hey, it's me. Nikki, how you doing? I'm tired. They're taking care of me, I guess. Just come get me, please. Okay, there's other people with you. All right, that's fine. Just be ready for anything. Coming to get you. I need to see Jax. How's he doing? He's... He's a brave boy. Takes after his mother. But he's stubborn like his bullheaded uncle. <laughs> yeah, I guess he is. Doesn't take no for an answer. Time's up. Ta-ta. So yeah, what I was basically I saying this from Damien. It's working an angle. I want something more. All right. One thing at a time. I'm going to need the rest of Iraq's blackmail. Then I got leverage. And then I can deal with Damien. So about um uh about Bedbug um is I don't know how he got out of that alive. I don't know how he got out of that situation alive. Um, the, I, I wish they would have explained it a little bit more, that, like, um, oh, there's a crime right here, too. I honestly wish they would have explained it more, like, how he got out. Known as digital trips, these mind-altering... 
is, um, here's the thing is, maybe Iraq has, like, a soft spot for people in his family, so he wasn't gonna kill Bedbug, because of that, he realized that Bedbug was being blackmailed by somebody, Aiden, but the, but here's the thing is, like, a gang boss would kill even their family members if they betrayed them, so even if it's, like, son, brother, if you betray even, you know, if, if they're, if the boss is even your close family and you betray them, you're dead. And the boss has to make an example, because if the boss lets his family basically get away with betraying him, then the other gangsters are going to see that that's weakness. That, uh, you know, that he, his family members betrayed him, and he didn't do anything about it. And that's going to look really bad for the boss. So the boss is basically going to kill, um, even family members. So I don't know, like, how he, how he got, um, how he got out of that situation. I wish they would have explained that a little bit more, uh, Potential victim. Okay, there's a crime that's gonna happen here. Watch for potential threats. You can't eat my soul! I wanna rethink. There we go. Thank you so much. Reputation increased. Okay, save the person. Getting a better uh, a role, vigilante. Oh God. I didn't get much. The upload was cut off. Shit. I knew it. Okay. I have to find a way in myself. Are you crazy? <laughs> Even if you did get inside there, we can't read it. It's encrypted. Well, what am I supposed to do? Damien has Nikki. Just tell him he can keep her? Of course not. Of course. I'm not saying that. But he's playing you. Yeah. I'm not going to give him this before I know what it is. Damien cannot be trusted. I know that. All right, well, let's just... Let's just deal with one problem at a time. All right? If I can get this information, can you decrypt it? No, it's way beyond my skill. Then who, then? Hey, what about that, uh... That crazy guy? Uh, Tobias, he used to work here. Okay, that's where we start, then. Okay, but we need to be discreet. I know how to be discreet. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Raymond Cammy. It has to be him. He was a software engineer hired for the CTO startup. He created the encryption. The creator always have a backdoor. Well, he can decrypt it. Kenny is crazy good. <laughs> I bet he built this room. <sighs> He's a genius. No, no. I mean, a legend. I'm guessing legends aren't easy to find. He's way off the grid. No one's heard of him in over a year. Uh, he's lurking somewhere. Okay. Everyone has a history online. We start there. We get Kenny's last known point and work backwards. He's been gone over a year. This could take a while. There. He's covered his tracks very well, but he's bounced through one location a few times. So we trace it back and we find his location. In theory, yes. You'll need to reach that point and connect me to the computer. I'll run a search from the bunker. And we'll have Kenny. Okay, um... We're gonna be gunning Raymond Kenny, um, also known as T-Bone. He's the playable character in the, um, Bad Blood DLC. Okay, 
let's go this way. I'll open up the bridge. If we find Kenny, you need to be careful. He's a very dangerous man. Dangerous, huh? What's his story? He's a Bloom whistleblower, or a cyber terrorist. Depends on who you ask. Delivered his message by blacking out most of New York State. I remember that. 2003. Not just New York, that was most of the Northeast. Killed a couple of people. He killed 11 people. They called it a software error. What the hell was his message? Kenny was trying to warn everyone. He didn't trust people inside Bloom. But I don't think he expected anyone to die. Now, he's in hiding. And we're about to find him. The place you're going is the very end point of Raymond's last signal. Hackers hide their locations by routing their packets through buttons. Yeah, it's a good trick. I've tried it myself. He's probably bounced his signal all across the globe. We'll have a problem if that signal ends in China or some faraway country. No, he's here. I don't care if he's gone off the grid. If this is Kenny's ex-Bloom, something tells me he wants to stay close to the action. Maybe. But if he really was in Chicago, why has he been so quiet? He's not a kind of guy to just sit back and watch. You said he killed those people. Must be a pretty price on his head. Good reason to stay underground. Aiden, we might have a problem. I'm picking up a lot of chatter about Rem and Kenny. That's strange timing. You said this guy's been dark for a year. I think we might have alerted someone when I find Raymond's signal. So we'll have company waiting for us. All right. Uh, here's the thing is, the, um, the 2003 out. blackout was actually a, um, fixer as Hitman. Hitman hired by Bloom. The, um, what I was trying to say is that the, the 2003 blackout was a real thing. I remember that as a kid. I lived in New York, and I remember when that, when that stuff actually happened. I don't remember what actually caused it. Get rid of all these guys. But basically, it was like pretty much all of New York was just dark. It was a, um... Search the area. Start looking for the Crap. Okay. Shit. Someone's on to us, Clara. Let's make this quick. What am I looking for? Connect me to the computer. I'll run a search from the bunker. Shit. No wonder good cops can't shut the club down. Clara, it's online. Montreal, New York. Oh, 
Some older comp I don't know much about computers, but I do know some older computers are a lot harder to um, hack because a lot of hackers use modern software. That's why they're using older computers. I know, I'm on it. I'll shut them down. Stop this fire truck somehow. I feel like I'm playing the final mission in San Andreas right now. Be advised, we have reports of a high speed chase and oncoming traffic. A large transport is involved. We need units on the scene. You'd think these fixers would try to be a little bit more discreet, right? Literally ramming a... ...fire truck into oncoming traffic like this. Okay, it's gonna... Okay. They're really flooring it, okay. Okay, so we will, um... Oh, I got another progression reward, huh? Uh... Skills. I need five skill points to get that, uh, do, do that melee on the really armored dude. Okay. So I guess we will wrap this up here. Um, Kenny's gonna be in Pawnee over there. So yeah, the, the fixers were actually pretty close to him. Uh... I got what I need. We're ready. You're actually going after Ray Kenny. I can't believe we found him. Haven't found him yet. 
but we're close. He might not even help, you know? If he decrypts those files, he's exposing himself. This guy was a whistleblower. You said those files had blackmail on Bloom. There was blackmail on everyone. I think an ex-Bloom radical would find that hard to resist. When you find Ray Kenny, what do you have to offer him? We've seen what happens when we dig. If he helps us decrypt those files, he's exposed. I'll find something. There's a reason he's hiding. Yeah. He turned against Bloom, exposed their abuse. I can work with that. You're going to threaten him? No. A whistleblower wants justice. He may be looking for a cause, but I can definitely give him one. Okay, so we will wrap this up here, guys. I will have the next part out for you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Take care, everyone.